All right, I'm here with Joe, and he's part of the network operations team for Cisco Live Europe. And I wanted to talk to him a little bit about all the automation, programmability, and APIs that are being used to manage the floor and the network here. Yeah, absolutely. So we've been doing this a few years now, and we find that you cannot build a network like this. We have about 500 wired devices without automation. You can't not only provision it, you can't monitor it. And so what we've done is use a lot of the uh, APIs. APIs we have in applications like Prime Infrastructure and Prime Network Registrar and CMX to be able to gather statistics out of the network so that we can help our operations team. Some of the dashboards you've seen behind me, they've been built with this automation. So we write Python scripts, we use tools like Prometheus, Grafana, InfluxDB to consume statistics off the network and then present them in nice ways. We've also been heavily using the Spark APIs. Oh, so we built a few um, uh, Spark rooms. This one here, uh, I'll show you guys uh, in the video world. Uh, our operators can ask our live knockbot, where is a user, like where is Jay Clark? That would be me, um, spell it right. And then you can see what it's going to do. It's gonna make API calls back to um, Prime Network Registrar, Prime Infrastructure, and CMX. Well, they can't find me. Uh, <laughs> but, live uh, but the, uh, you can see in, in past examples, it pulls DNS, DHCP information, prime infrastructure information, and then it can pull the map right out of CMX. So operators, we don't have to give them access to these tools, but we can give them power of the information. And we also have other rooms where we can get notifications and alerts directly from the network. All of that is driven with APIs, scripting, and programmability that's built into our devices and our applications. That's awesome. So I got a couple of follow-up questions. Sure. So do you, does anybody ever log directly into a switch or a router or a device here anymore? No, actually we're trying to avoid that altogether. We've built a homegrown automation tool for provisioning mm -hmm. and what that allows us to do is make port changes through a web interface. We can uh, deploy massive config changes at scale just by selecting a few pull downs mm -hmm. in a web and clicking a button. We, our goal this year, we didn't get there exactly, it was no console cables. We had to do it a few times, but out in the field, we didn't really have to send anyone out with console cables. That's awesome. And we don't want anyone SSHing or telemetting into our devices directly. We want to have central control over that and use these APIs. We use just automation in general to, to help with those deployments. That's really good. My last question is, so you guys, we've been having Cisco Lives for a long time back in the networker days. Mm -hmm. How long have you been doing automation, would you say? Is this a new thing? This is, we've been doing it, we've been building up year after year. Mm -hmm. I, I would say we started out, Jason Davis, my colleague, started out doing a lot with Cisco Process Orchestrator, mm -hmm. and then we just realized we need to do more of this. So I would say back in 2014, we really started embracing automation mm -hmm. at scale for Cisco Live in the US and then in Europe. Um, and it's, it's been just growing and growing ever since. Excellent, well thanks Joe, I oh, really thanks. appreciate it. All right, thanks. Thanks.